So this is Zach here. Am I live? Oh yeah, I'm live. Hey, Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints here in the Rocky Mountains Rep Rep Fest 2024. Uh, yeah, my hair does look messed up a little bit, but hey, that's okay. So behind me is uh, the North Hall. Everybody is uh, setting up right now. Um, I'm in the corner somewhere by a exit. So, can I switch? Yeah. So that is the entrance now at this moment. I think for tomorrow the entrance will be there. Maybe there as well, I don't know. Well, everybody is uh, setting up. I don't know if everybody can hear me. So there, the people from Prussia is. There's Justin. Justin. He's not Justin, but he is there. Hey, Rob Mink, how are you doing? You're on your way. Friend is driving. Ooh. As long as he is driving you nuts. So, um, DFN? Dot FM? I don't know what it, that is. I don't know, everybody. Okay, okay, so. So, uh, there's the Prusa stand, a very big one. There's just one person occupying it at this moment. I don't know. I don't know if they are going to give away a Mark IV. Fingers crossed, I will get one. But I cannot get it with me. But uh, this is looking very nice. Enclosed Mark IV. Hey, 3P uh, UK. How was my flight? Um, yeah, my flight was, uh, you know, a little bit uh, weird. Hey, my brother is also here. Hello. Test. Hi. Hi, Test. Look, he's here. Yeah. He's, uh, he's running booth all by himself. Everybody is, uh, everybody else is down under. What? My guys were at lunch. That was nice. I let them eat. Yeah. It's the first time do that I'm doing a live in public. It's awkward. <laughs> um, hey, never let the machines win. Shane. Yeah. Shane from Prussia. I, I said there are so many Mark IVs here. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Maybe I get one. But I cannot get it onto the flight. <laughs> yeah, a little bit difficult for that one. Yeah, I cannot say it's a it's a carry on back backpack. Yeah, you could try. You can ask Mitch see if he has any hints for you as far yeah. as backpack printing. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe later this year I want to visit the Prusa factory. It's a nice place to go. Yeah. If if you can make it past the airline fee, everything else is relatively cheap with the exchange rates. Oh, well, well, it's big. Hmm? What is big? Yeah. Uh, hey, Steph, how are you doing? Welcome to the live stream. Um, uh, let's see, six people watching, two likes. Smash the like button, thank you. Good evening. I don't know what time it is there. I, I lost it. I have to look at my watch. It's now 2.30 p.m. So eight hours later, it would be like uh, 10 o'clock, something like that. Everybody smash that like button. I'm going to switch from this view to this view. So here we have huge forge. The, you know, if you like coloring your prints, well, this is this is very nice. That's Adam from Vic Vector 3D. Hello. 
We were in the same aisle, <laughs> same row. So, uh, yeah. Wait. So, check this out. That looks beautiful. Some very nice, colorful prints and very flat. Just art, <laughs> right? Check this out. This is so beautiful. And some, some are even so great that it almost looks as it is real. Yeah, check, check this out. If you didn't know it, Look how flat. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> so pretty. Also, if you have a clock, why not doing something like this, you know? Having something unique. There's also the, the booth from LDO Motors. I don't see them. The stuff is there, but they are a little bit late, I guess. So we are going further. Of course, still there. The booth of uh, Prusa. Very nice. Prusa Mini that I have. <laughs> Not my Prusa Mini, but they are Prusa Mini, of course. Also some very nice colored model from uh, Photosman. Very beautiful. It's just perfect. Look at that. Almost real, man. Huh? Then we are going to switch over here. We have uh, the Recreator 3D. Hi. Hello. Hi. You're Bill? Yep, I'm Bill. So yeah, Josh, <laughs> Josh uh, sent me to you. Oh, cool. Awesome. So yeah. now, now I'm currently doing a live stream. Okay. But uh, I will be... Uh, <laughs> there's Bill. Yep. Pet one. Yep. The if trash you, bin. If you know anybody who's uh, drinking out of a pet one bottle during the event and they want to get rid of it, um, this uh, I made this Mark Six to demo at the uh, uh, festival here. Unfortunately, it's made out of PETG because I didn't have enough PET. So that's why I'm trying to collect more bottles. So next year, that'll be made hopefully out of PET. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Also here, check this out. Check this out. This is looking so beautiful. And all recycled PETG bottles. Yep. How cool. Yeah, it's... It's beautiful. I mean, what you don't have any filament to use? Yeah, yeah. I mean, build something like that, print something like that. How, do, how hard can it be? <laughs> so I can show you how we do it if you want. Yeah, sure. So we've got the uh, community bottle cutter. You put your, I cut the bottom off of the bottle and then cut a little strip. You start pulling it through, these two bearings overlap and cut. Then you put a little bit of weight to hold it on in place. And just pull it on through and it makes a long ribbon. And that goes right in here when it is heated and then, you know, wind it up to uh, to, to the spool. Plug it in. Uh, I think that came from a Saint Smart printer. Or not? Yep. This was my... Uh, this was my first, uh, well, my second 3D printer I got, which was an Ender 3, but the board in here is V1.1.4. So oh, it's the old board. Oh yeah, so, the 8-bit board. Yep. So you don't need you don't need a fancy really anything to make this work. And all the the frame that this is 2020 extrusion, but it's 3D printed as well. Yeah. So yeah. You, you run it through, and it just winds it up. And when you're done, you end up with something like this. And then you run it through your printer and. There you go. That is nice. And of course, we have here a beautiful model, Captain Recreator by Wexter. I mean, the Wexter does do the, those minis, and when you see one, you know from who it is. It's a uh, basically a signature. 
Check this out. It's so beautiful. Yeah, we 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 pay uh, for the bottles. We uh, we get money back. A deposit. So, yeah. yeah. There's there's places in America that do that deposit, um, but here in the Midwest, like I live in Nebraska, and we don't have any deposits like that. So all the bottles that I got here, I've literally picked out of the trash can from work. People are just throwing them away, not mm. recycling or nothing. So I've got uh, here. I've, this is a small fraction of all the plastic bottles I've ground up and going to use through an extruder, and I've got a big. Um, uh, five pound bucket for animal crackers filled with plastic pellets like this. So I've got like, you know, four kilos of pellets at home waiting to be extruded and made into film that would have just gone to a landfill. There, there is this um, uh, extruder that also is Stefan, CC Kitchen. Yep. Oh, that one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so, he made it in blue. So, interestingly yeah. enough, as I was able to find this online, on Ally Express for forty dollars, it's an extruder with the barrel and the in the uh, heater block, and there's a project on Printables that uses this to do a convert a uh, Prusa Mark III into a pellet 3D printer. So you could take all this, these plastic bottles and all these ground bits, and you forego the need for filament and just print directly with the pellets and the grinds. So you could. You can use the, we made a, a grinder on the Discord. You could grind up all your bottle bits and print directly with it. So with this process, you don't get to use the, the threaded part of the cap that the cap screws onto. Yeah. And so with, but with this, you can print directly with it whatever you want. And I know there's some videos on YouTube of a guy using something similar to this to print with sugar to make like sugar sculptures and stuff. And you can put it on a cake or anything like that or whatnot so I'm trying to ask the community to come join our discord and help us you know kind of um, design something to utilize more of the plastic that would normally end up in the dump so nice yep. hey non fam welcome to uh, to the live stream cool oh but uh, that that sounds really amazing yeah so yeah the, the grinder that we designed with um hal 9000 is one of our guys in the uh, uh in our discord we designed a grinder that uses just a little a cheap stainless steel ruler that fits in there and a router bit with a bearing on the end to use as the cutter and all of it was purchased on amazon for real cheap and so between this and then this extruder for 40 dollars us if you have an old 3d printer for you know what under a hundred dollars you could make a uh, and a pelletized, a three pellet extruder that'll do PLA pellets or PET pellets or whatever. So, and then combining it with the uh, the the uh, extruder. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, nice. Well, no, this this would replace this. You wouldn't even need to make filament because this just prints directly for the pellets. So, nice. Yeah. Very cool. So this is all the stuff you can make with old bottles people throw away. So. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's it, you have so much that you can uh, can use them. Yep. Nice. I'll be I'll be dropping by soon. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks, uh, Bill. Yep. And then we have some uh, some more colorful 3D prints. Three D chameleon. How are you doing, Bill? Good. How are you? How was your From trip? One, one bill to the another bill. Cool. Your trip yeah, I'm doing fine. Yeah. Good. Good. Did a uh, seven or eight hour sleep. Yeah. So it's going well. Good. Still a little bit tired, though. Yeah, we are too. We drove uh, 20 some hours. Oh, this one now attached with the uh, filament cutter? Yep. Nice. You were playing a lot with it uh, at Smurf. Yeah. We did the filament cutter. So now, what's new with the Mark IV? You might notice a few other additions on here. Oh yeah. Filament runout sensors. We've got an LCD here that tells you the status. So 
So as I'm pressing the buttons here, you see it's switching through the commands. Ooh. Yeah. So we got that is LCD. very nice. We've got this one is also a really nice feature. It shows the uh, we have a motor position sensor, so it can detect when the motor stalled or the filament when you're loading the filament in. Mm -hmm. It'll run it all the way to the extruder, hit the extruder, then it knows it's got its limit. So it it, it feels hitting the gears on the extruder, so it knows exact distance it needs to load. So automatic loading of the filament, automatic tuning. It, and it's getting more and more advanced and more. Uh, yep. Oh, I love it. Yep. Doing a lot of cool stuff with it. Yeah. Nice filament dry box. Uh, with a filament now, with a with a filament uh, buffer. See how this works? Mm -hmm. So it pulls the filament out through the tube, up to the sensor, and then feeds it through to the device. But when it wants to back it out, watch what happens. See, this comes free. Oh yeah. The reason we do that is you have a minimum length of it, so it doesn't break or anything. But you have a school, a, a built-in buffer now. Really simple buffer uh, way to do the buffering for these. Very cool. I love the uh, progress on the whole uh, 3D chameleon. Yeah. And we've got the Piazza, we've got it all set up over there. Yeah, and that's also uh, do the colors now, huh? Eh? Yeah. How's the machine doing so far? Good. Yeah, I've not had any issues with it. Nice. I will be dropping by later. Shooting uh, normal videos. <laughs> good, good. See you around, man. See ya. Thanks for coming. Check this out. Oh yeah, here you can see the. Uh, we have all of the. We have the the normal device, right? The MK4 now. It now supports open source add-ons, and we're calling it the Pro. But all the accessories for the Pro are free open source designs. You just download, or you go to. We have a. A, a list of all the parts you can buy from Amazon to build them yourself. Oh yeah. So it's all free. Um, some of these are really cheap. All of these, these and these are less than $20 or $10. These, this is less than $20. This, all three of these are less than $10 actually. This is less than 20. So even the dry boxes. Yeah. Amazing. Cool. Hey. There I was also hey. Smurf. Very beautiful. That was a crazy find. That's the first printer. This is beautiful. It's the third version, but it's janky. It's janky. It's the first one. It doesn't matter if it's janky. It's the first one. I was uh I was just doing I think this looks cool. Four colors here. Four colors there. Your camera is blurry? How is that possible? You mean this cam this one or this one? Then we have here the edge of 3D. I got this. And there's Justin again. Yeah. I don't know how how it looks on your side or on my no, on my side it looks okay, but it can be because of the uh, 
you know, the uh, Wi-Fi connection. I'm at the streaming Wi-Fi from the uh, venue. So uh, let's t take a look at uh, the Voron site. So uh, we we have here the the Voron tables, multiple tables. Let's switch it over. Like this is the the Phoenix. We are still working on it. I don't know what this is, but this looks like a CC milling machine. Yeah, Justin is just moving very quickly uh, around here. He's, he's there now already, hoovering on his uh, hooverboard. Clean screen. So a lot of Voron builds. That is nice. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of uh, a lot of um, printers. Then we have here Fabrico, 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 Fabrico. Ooh, we are makers, right? Check this out. This is so cool. How was, how was this one called? Milo. This is the Milo. Milo. I tend to say Milo, but it's Milo. Yeah, Milo. Just in the Voron style, black and red. So beautiful. But you have a very good power supply needed for it. Uh, yeah, it comes with a power supply in the back. This is a... down here. I'm pretty sure the whole electronic box is actually down here. Yeah. Um, we have the, this is the inverter for, that controls the, the spindle. Yeah. And uh, I think that's the one that, yeah, that's the one that comes with the LDO kits that are shipping in about a month or so they're, they're on pre-order right now wow yeah so the first one i saw by uh nero 3d mm. and then i i saw from uh, uh edge of uh 3d of the, yeah this is the i see them more 3D. and more and i'm like yeah. Yeah. They're, i they're good. i don't have any room for a big yeah. printer let alone something like this yeah in this you should really put it in so yeah, because of all the, uh, yeah. This thing like a mess. We have, uh, you seen the Radrick one? The Radrick version of it? Mm, not yet. We'll have it over there later. Oh, yeah. We're still setting up the rest of the thing. But yeah, you'll see it later. This is the one from Edge of 3D. This is yeah. the one you saw in the video, yeah. Yeah, he, he was uh, during the live stream of Jerry last weekend. He was uh, he was still working on it. No, so. uh, stream after uh, before that. He was uh, doing the uh, crimping of the wires. Yeah, yeah. And well, now it's all running, and I think it has a serial and everything. Nice. <laughs> Somebody says here, my neighbor would kill me with something <laughs> like that. They're, they're not allowed. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, you know my 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 studio is uh, next to the bedroom of uh, my my daughters. Mm -hmm. And mm. if, if I just tap it a little bit harder or just or you print, print a little bit harder, everybody is going to notice that. Anyone can guess which kind of printer this is because I have no idea. <laughs> That's actually the first uh, of the few prototypes that I'll be able to come out with. The one that they're working for as a kit is totally different than this. Yeah, it's now version 3 in middle uh, already? Yeah. They're on version 3, I think. This is the previous version. I think this is version 1 or 2. So it still has the old uh, 
I don't forget what these are called, but the, the new version uses regular belts, whereas yeah. this one has this weird um, transmission system, which works pretty well. I like it. It's missing the... Yeah, the Positron, yeah. It's the coolest part of the Positron, because it fits right there, you can just move it, transport it, wherever you want. Uh, basically a filament box, huh? Yep. This, this one's yeah, about a filament box and a half from this one. Yeah, that looks so cool. If you want to do something right, go for the, the uh, Capricorn PTFE tubes and some decent stepper motors, not brandless, but like from LDO. That is looking nice. Ooh, some very nice metal parts. Well, this thing looks familiar. The cocoon. Ooh. Is that is that a Forum Delta? It's it's a it's not really a Voron. It's it's an April Fool's joke that they made. Um, but someone built this whole um, Delta Voron inspired. Actually, printed should be printed later today. So yeah, the, they submitted a serial video and everything with it. So if you look, look up the uh, first. I think Double T did this. This is very beautiful. Yeah, he did a lot of nice modeling and you know very clean job on it. I'm a. I mean, some some geniuses within the community. They're seeing so, something like oh oh we can do that. And then they spend weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, and this is what comes out of it. So it looks really, really nice. Which is completely wrong with it. Wow. And this is, uh, I think, uh, this is the Rook. MK1, actually. The MK2 version of that came out recently. Mm. Very pretty. I'm 40% ABS. So let's see what we have more. I think I'm going to take Chris's. Well, I mean, who wouldn't want a bigger team? Just leave a roll of the orange filament there and the fry. Uh, I was there. So West 3D. There's another Milo. Uh, so West 3D, and there is a Milo print uh, CC machine. So this is a, a purple tablecloth. I don't know what it has to do with printing, but. It is for from Mitch 3D. And here we have another Rook. Otherwise it was gonna be fully free. And as long as we change it. Have you bumped into my man Sam? Oh yeah. Many times. Look who's here! Hi, where are we where are we streaming to? Where do you think we are streaming to? The YouTube's. YouTube's. Hi, YouTube's. Yeah, not to be confused with the Wee Tubes. No, not now it's Wee Tube. Wee Tube. Oh, okay. Wee Tube too. Oh yes, of course. Yeah. But hi, hi, not fam. Good to see you, bud. 3DP. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. I'm yelling in Zach's ear over here. So, and you know, my first reaction when I saw Dan 
in real life I was like, dude, you're big, you're tall. I tell everybody I'm 6'2", but nobody knows what 6'2 is apparently. No, for, he, for me it's like 1 meter 75. Okay. 1 meter 75? Yeah, I'm 1 meter 75. So I'm like more than 1 meter 75. I think like 180. Uh-oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. somebody even taller than me. And there's the Zulon! See, look, here's... He's even bigger he's, than he's them. He's even bigger than me, I'm, so. I'm, I'm the midget here. <laughs> yeah. But cool, man. Cool people here. Yes. People so. that I saw all the time on the internet and now finally meeting. Yes. Hi, Stephen Poole. Hey, Stephen. Hi, Barry, by the way. I see you, Barry. I know Barry Street is... You. Barry is your brother? Yeah. Brother, yes. Yeah, so hi, brother. Hi, brother Barry. Brother Barry. Yes, brother Barry. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, so we are currently getting our table set up, so I do apologize. I know he's going to stream a lot from here, so I will see a lot of you guys over the next couple of days. But I have to step away and let this man continue to show you all the fun stuff while I set up my table. You see the time on here? Yeah, 31, 31 minutes. minutes. And I'm just not even half yeah, of this. The There's problem, also the other one. Yeah, the problem is it's going to take you a whole weekend just to get through the entire event and see people. And this is before we're even open to the public. Yeah. So this so, is a this is a uh, pre pre preview. Yeah, so this is a preview. A sneak peek of what sneak tomorrow peek. will bring. Yes. Yeah. We see a lot of cool people here. Yeah. Cool there's peeps. a lot of awesome people here. I love coming to these events. I love seeing everybody. Yeah. Um, some people like me for some reason. I don't know why. And then they want to come find me and hang out. So thank you. That's Zach. what we do. Yes. Thank you, Zach. Yeah. That being said, Internet, I'm going to quit hijacking his stream. You guys have fun. I got to set up. Bye guys. Bye. So that was Dan from uh, Maker Mind Nexus. Dan. There's uh, Justin going around again. He is fast. He already got a speeding ticket or something. If, we, if I see him driving like that, I'm, I'm thinking like it's more than that. Yeah. I like the black and green colors on the Sprinter. It's looking nice. Toy box. Very nice. Look at how small that this is. We like cute little printer. Check this out. Small. That's got two weeks of continuous running on it, and that's how much wear you get off of just plastic on plastic. So, Tumblr? And let me tell you. Don't leave this running if you have a small puppy because it's like toys getting tumbled. <laughs> he chewed up the gear on my first one. He dog eared it. Uh -huh. I chewed it. I said, oh no, I have to print another one. Yeah, I don't see one on the floor. Well, let's say it won't work. It kept working though. It has a little flat spot and it still works. <laughs> Call it little things. Very nice. For me, it's magic how the people do this. Some cool stuff. More little things. That is cool. Oh, here's the color on the back side. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Top secret. This is a trash bin. Nothing too crazy there. And we have here a Prusa i3 Mark III S. I forgot we have a whole... Okay. 
the people setting up the uh, A1. How do you do? Doing fine. Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints. We know this printer. I have one too. Don't slam the door. It's uh, it's glass. Yeah, I have that one. It's uh, printing fine. But I have also multiple choices. <laughs> Not always the first printer that I'm going for. But when I'm printing with multicolor, then uh, yeah. it's a great choice. I got a whole lot of choice. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's going on there? We can play PlayStation? Anyways, we have also here. Hello, how are you doing? Ember prototypes. Ooh. Yes. Um, I have one plate here and one plate over there. Uh, this will be like a ski lift when it's done. I'm cleaning the setup up stuff. Ah. Everything on the table except for this is my own design. And I'll have a QR code tomorrow with where to find out. Cool. Yeah. Just running a live stream, showing people uh, some uh, some. Pre, uh, awesome. Preview, cool. sneak peek. That's awesome. Nice. Well, have fun. Yeah, thank you. Think your meal. Look at how cool that is. This is looking very beautiful. I wish I designed them. But it looks cool. But did you print this? Did you print this? Yeah. And basically, you also did a uh, good bit, a bit on it to uh, have something beautiful. Yeah, it, it came out. I did. I made a few changes. That the skull is mine, the pumpkin's mine, the two gargoyles are mine, but the rest of this is. I, he had some. He had some happy looking pumpkins. I didn't like them. So I switched them out, and then I reposted it so he could use it. I think it's a good choice. It's a haunt, haunted house, so. Yeah. Yep. Why not uh, make it even more uh, spookier? Yeah. Why not? So 162 parts, 210 parts. Wow. I like it. Yeah, the, the, uh, the grandkids like them a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but I, I, I mean, what you can all do with it, uh, it's, it's beautiful. And then in a little bit, I'll put these in the towers, and the towers light up too. You can't see it in this high light, but the towers will light up in the inside. So they'll light it like blue. Mm. Very beautiful. So I was, I'll be seeing you uh, guys later. Yeah, sounds good. So another booth here, 3D PT. What happens to 3D filaments after seven years outdoors? That is an interesting thing. This is also a very cool 3D printer. An IDEX Voron. Hi. The guy is still setting up, so I'm not going to uh, bother him too much. Dan still there. We have here protopasta. This is looking very nice. Very nice filaments. Yeah, they are hammering it.
Oozbot professional 3D printers. Check this out. Hey, Nonstick, how are you doing? I see good evening and it is here afternoon. It's so weird. Did somebody said big spool of filament? This is big. Where are we going tomorrow? This is this is a dream. They're all linked together. Uh, they'll be. I don't know if they'll be running with one tomorrow. Uh, they'll probably be running their own programs, but they obviously can run as one. Mm -hmm. um, but for tomorrow, we may have. Um, we may have them running separately with different sizes of nozzles running the same program. Oh, I know what I got here. Check out here the open design on the back side that you can see the boards. Very nice. Yeah, we will uh, we'll be up and running probably within an hour or two. I don't know if I'll be printing today though. Cool. So we have here a micro Swiss. Hi guys, doing great? Yeah, how are you? Good, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. Yeah. Zachary. Vitaly. Yeah, just uh, doing a live stream. A pre pre sneak, yeah. what's coming? Still setting up. We'll have more tomorrow. <laughs> mm. So very cool stuff. Vision Miner. Then we have their TH3D. Very skilled, very, you know, much information always shared. Here we have Cookie Cat with a lot of filaments, some beautiful filaments. <laughs> so then we have here also on the side different type of uh, booth. This is still the first hole. This is the north hole. They have also there the south hole. It's it's big. Last year they only had the north hole, I believe they just said. But now they have like two, two big holes. Hi, how are you doing? Sorry? I'm Peter. Peter. Oh, cool. Nice hey. To meet you. Welcome to the U.S., man. Yeah, good I to hope see you, man. Good trip over. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, it was uh, it was kind of uh, long, and you know I, I was tired. It was. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. Yeah. First time being in Colorado. Did Somebody you? mentioned like, oh, you're at an elevation of uh, five thousand feet. I'm like, really? Did you get one of those yet? No, not yet. Well, now you do. So. Uh, 5,000 uh, feet elevation, I was like, 
Oh, really? Yes, they call it the Mile High City for a reason. Mile High. Mm -hmm. now, I, now I know why people are making those kind of jokes. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Cool. So, welcome, welcome. And uh, I'm going to scurry over to Polymaker, but I'm going to see you this weekend. I'll see you around. Oh, yeah, sir. Excellent. Cool. So, a very cool guy. Known on, in the community as... Beats? No. I, I don't know. We have also there somebody. Nero 3D. Hi. If you want to have a story, you need to go to, to her. Filament story. Those filaments always have a story to tell. She's, she's always talking. <laughs> And some more people, like Alan. And we have some more filament here. Just showing it off. That is also Mitch. Another Mitch. What? Streaming. Nice. So everything you say can and will be used. I guess you. No. Filament. Oh. Then you get Ooh, ticket. not a speeding ticket, right? What's that? Not a speeding ticket, huh? Oh. Oh. Justin just should get one. So you bring an old spool of filament, you drop it in here, and you can exchange it for something else you see here. Exactly. Nice. Ooh, proto pasta. Nice. So, yeah, the way it works is you drop it off here. We're going to have waves because we're doing ones that are either fall or wave. Apparently, fall. Okay. One or two tickets, depending on that. And then at any time you come back, you get a. Check this out. This is looking amazing. You drop something off and you can come back and get that. That's a cool in, 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 initiative. Yeah, it's a good way to get rid of all that stuff. Because, I mean, everyone's got... It's always like when people are like, I'm like, hey, buy film. And they're like, oh, I've got a ton at home that I already don't use. Like, you know what? what can we do about that? Like, oh, I try to get rid of the filament yep. by just using a small kit's 3D printer to small, print small things. But so, most of the time, they, those are brittle, brittle as well. Yeah. Game right here, use this one button. Oh, I remember this. It's, game. Game. it's completely redone. Wait, it's completely redone? Yeah, there's levels, there's lives, there's there's different things to it, so and then there's a tournament at the end. So Oh that's cool. That's very cool. So Yeah, this is a little game. You press the button and then you just try to line it up. What do I need to do? So you try to line up the uh, the white with the blue. So you try to time it. Oh. Okay. There you go. First try. First try. <laughs> so let's try it again. This is level two. It goes faster. Ah, missed it. I have to try all over again. Three more levels. Yeah, I had it. I'm 45, so let's see. Ah, miss it again. Yep, and then after that one, it changes to a completely different game. So there's, I think, like eight different games. Nice. Oh, thank you. So we are going through here and we are going to the other side. We are going to the other side. Because there is more to see. There's so much more. First, we start with a uh, big tree tag. They're still setting up. I don't know what they're doing, but I think it's big. It's very big. Just check it out. With LED lights, using hot glue. 
So I don't really know what they are doing, but it, I think it's going to be awesome. You are going to see it in a video. It smells like pizza or so. Of course, you can guess which brand this is by the models you see here. They are still setting it up. Looking nice. I usually, you know, eating and recording is not always a great thing. I usually don't do that. But it smells so good. So a lot of people that get it here. People eating. So we have here also Pesliz and, and Sean, Justin. So, very cool. We're going to continue. Okay, we have some other dude. Guess who, who that is? Jan Tech. Oh, how you guessed it? So he, he's together here with uh, Stefan, CNC Kitchen. Nobody knows who Stefan CNC Kitchen is, right? Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> oh, that was your uh, apprentice? You were, you were with him, you know? He, yeah, yeah. You were teaching him? Yeah, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, Stefan CNC yeah, Kitchen is awesome. He's also somewhere, right? Or Yeah, he's at the, um, I don't know how it's called. He's right around this corner. Oh. You will find him. Oh, yeah. I think I passed by him without realizing it. It happens all the time. So I'm doing a live stream now currently because, you know, why not? Setting everything up for everybody. Uh, you know, do something. So we are going to continue. I know that printer, I know that name, and I saw it passing by several times already. How's it going? And that is the cool thing about Clipper, you know? Yeah. Bloody uh, Europeans. Hey, Amber Prototypes. Amber. Amber Prototypes, yeah. Just responded. Nice. 10 people watching now currently. Almost one hour in the stream. Wow. This is a very cool thing here. Troubleshooting time. That's what we do. Well, we have also there several little items on the table. Wow, that is looking beautiful. Clone Mark 3S. Under extruded 200. And Mark 3S. 400. So you can also sell uh, by printers here, and by prototypes. Cool, I did see already some, some amazing stuff here from also Amber. I mean, I saw somebody having the plates. So here we have uh, the stand of Tripod's Garage with the brand new Elegoo. What is it, Saturn 4? Very cool. Hi. It's big. Yeah. It is great. I'm shutting the store, sorry. I'm not I'm not ignoring you, I'm just going around. Very beautiful, huh? Yeah, no, that's awesome. So three ninety nine for the Saturn four. And through two trees. SK one. Alright, my here. 
Wham Bam is not here yet. I think they will be coming later. Am I running? I'm running off. There's Sam. What else do we have here? Very pretty here. Hey, how are you doing? Good. Just uh, having a little break. Little break. Yeah, just a little break. Just run, when, uh, walking around. Yeah, I'm doing a live stream. Hi. Good to see him again. Last time was that Smurf, right? Yeah. yeah cool. We have here some amazing models. I don't know where, where he is looking at. That is pretty. We know what robot that is. Yeah, the 3D printing resin guy. Yeah, the people from Gloop. 3D Gloop. <laughs> you know what is so, also cool? This is, uh, this is the time to get it. <laughs> Is, uh, right, right, you get it here. You don't have to wait for it or anything else. Yeah, it's, it's, there, a there lot of 3D printed parts in here. If anyone has seen a large black metal water bottle with a reverb and maybe a MERV or an earth sticker, please contact a volunteer or an organizer. Thank you. That is awesome. So yeah, basically you can do this all by yourself. And we have here STL Denise. And thanks, but I don't see thanks yet. Doing well? How are you? I'm doing very well. I have to sit on this for 30 more seconds to get the tape to stick. Oh! It's uh, I don't know, it's my There it goes. Well, hopefully it won't slip around too much. Is this a game where you like, you know, try to uh, get the tool head in, in the middle? That would be a pretty fun implementation of it. But the reason I made this was as a physicalization of a conversation between two people. So you've got oh. two people on both sides. You're seeing where it's going now. Yeah. And the idea is you paint a picture, you paint whatever you want, and the so you can painting uh, kind of displays 
the, the interaction between the both. Um, perfect. Here's my friends, Melanie and Maya. You can see uh, Maya has command of much more of the conversation. Uh, but they got, you know, kind of playful in here. They have these long strokes that represent, oh, excuse me, uh, that represent just them, you know, communicating back and forth. Mm -hmm. It's this kind of metaphor for a, a friendship or a, you know, conversation in general. And so you frame this, hang it on the wall, and you have some I've unique art. Yeah, exactly. And it's nice. got a story behind it. It was, a, it was just a fun project that I thought of with my friend one day, and we made it happen. I made the 3D printed parts, and he had a lot of the uh, ideation. We got pretty wild with it. Oh, yeah. I can tell. But I always try to have people sign both sides of it, so that you can remember who's on which side. So, oh, that's good. Nice. Come back when I've got some ink on there. It. It'll be a blast. Oh, yeah, I will. Yeah, now currently it's just a live stream that I'm doing. Oh, yeah? So, uh, yeah, everybody knows what this actually is. Fantastic. This is a, a creative way of making art. Yeah, uh, uh, a nice little shibble between you and your friend. Uh, it is not wonderfully taped down to this table because this table is very warped, but hopefully people won't get too wild. We'll find out. And basically, you can see who is uh, pulling the strings on the conversation, huh? It, that is a very apt metaphor that you come up with. That definitely uh, has a lot of what I mind, what I had in mind with this uh, with this in piece of um, So 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 ba basically, uh, what sometimes the women say, you know, what do you add to the, this conversation? And like, you can point to it. yeah. Look who is in charge all the time in the conversation because you are talking all the time and I, I don't get any space. Exactly, and it's it's a metaphor that kind of shows these physical artifacts of that conversation genre. At least that was the idea behind it. It's also just really fun to paint with another person. It's oh yeah, really hard to control. I have to try it out uh, with my wife uh, one time. Oh, yeah, yeah. On, Shall I go to Murph uh, next time? <laughs> yeah. I think oh, uh, if she stands on that side, this side would be all black. I don't know. Yeah, no, I love it. No, I, I won't be going to Murph. Maybe to uh, Earth or 3D Printopia next time. I, I, I have dreams of doing that, but right now I'm local to this place, and I think that uh, that River is is my home. So I like it. It's it's my second time here. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you have a booth around here? No. Oh, okay. The booth is uh, standing right here. Wonderful. <laughs> Well, I'm glad to, to see you. And I yeah. hello to your followers. And, uh, just just switching over. Hi. It's a good time. Oh, have fun at Rim Earth. Yeah. I, you know, okay, Earth. Then sure. we got Smurf. And I was like, it's no, a, you really say little. Smurf? Yeah. Nah, it's like, like those blue things, you know? Yeah, Smurf. exactly. Okay. I, uh... I still say Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival whenever I get the chance. Yeah. It's, I, I, because I it doesn't it, roll that easily. It really doesn't. <laughs> and, but, and maybe I should ask Justin yeah, how yeah. he says it. I, 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 it's, I, I, it's got that vibe. Um, come back and take a look when I'm all set up, and I'm sure you'll be pleased. Mm, yeah, uh, sure. I've got some good stuff going on this time, and I'm excited to show you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Nice. Oh well, yeah. Good luck. Bye bye. So here we have another stand. Big Jano. Yep. Is that you? That's me. I finally meet you. Absolutely. Come here. Cool. Nice I always see you. you in the streams or on uh, on on uh, Twitter. Absolutely. Nice. That's why I want to teach you how to do it. Hey, how's it going? You're good. Yeah, it's nice to to see you in person. Yeah, glad you can make the trip out here. Yeah. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, remember remember Paul. That's crazy. It's awesome. Next next time I'm going for a direct flight if possible. Oh yeah. 
was, that was, that was far too far. Because uh, the transfer was almost uh, causing me to uh, miss the flight. I've been, I've been there before. It's not fun. <laughs> yeah, Sam, Sam said to me, uh, what, what would you do uh, if you missed it? I was crying. I was going to cry. Oh, no. <laughs> and then finding out what, what I could do. Because, yeah, the, uh, the first flight took a little bit longer mm -hmm. to departure from Amsterdam uh, airport. Yep. And then hey. had a long security check that took ages. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Hey. hey, good to see you. Oh, Guess who that is? Got some cool signs. Yep. String art. 3D. <laughs> String art. Print bunny. Print, print bunny. Ooh. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> it's cool. That, that was when we printed Amazing the people here. Is this PLA? Big J. Uh, 3D print bunny. I don't think we had some other amazing people. No, no, no. Not me. Not I'm just a guy. Okay. So now we got Paji. And hey, you are. No, you are too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. It's like really clear and it's really nice. On the next so at home I have that one that like that grid triangle grid looking. Uh, so. Oh. This one I have at home. Yep, she's a star. Yeah. But she doesn't realize it. Just, just think about it. You are making so much tree models, and you know. Everybody knows you, but you're like, eh, I'm cool, I'm, I'm fine. For more right, people cool. setting up. Some very cool stuff. Uh, there are still a lot of tables empty. People still, you know, need to uh, be here. Hey, Silverback Creations, hello. How are you doing, sir? Here we see also something cool happening. Look at those dead racers. I like that one. That one is cool. All the things you can make with 3D printing. Drag racer. Very cool. Then we have here also some empty tables. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so like mentioned, a lot of empty tables still. I don't know what the meaning is. I thought everything was filled, but I think people have a lot of delays. Tra traffic jams, stuff like that. Maybe, you know, transfer delay. <laughs> between two flights getting caught up into the uh, security check the TSA something like that some very cool things here as well I also printed one of those I need to bring it later STL Denise. <laughs> yeah. So, so this is a big. <laughs> Guess on which printer this is printed on. Oh, that's from the Giga. I don't know. Orange Storm Giga. <laughs> orange, Storm, orange Storm Giga. Could also be blue Orange Storm. Why did it took orange? I don't know because all their other printers are named after planets. So I would have been figuring, you know, the maybe there weren't any other big planets left. Yeah, or going a little bit outside Uranus. of the galaxy or <laughs> solar system and say uh, like... Nebula. Yeah, Nebula or something like that. <laughs> no, or Orange galaxy. Storm Giga. Yeah. I think they don't want, didn't want to go for Uranus. Yeah, that's... That, that would be... No gas, <laughs> I, I think their marketing department were already thinking about using that term and then like, mm -hmm. no, if the printer <laughs> will fail... <laughs> no, 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 we don't want to have those kind of uh, memes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, big, big flexi rack, Rex. Yeah. Is it very flexible? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a little too flexible. It's, the only problem is I use lightning infill on it, so it's a little bit delicate. Oh, yeah. More delicate than it ought to be. But yeah, it flexes. Yeah, it's nice. 
Yeah, so uh, I see also a lot of messages uh, popping up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, usually when I do live streams, I behind the computer and can rewatch them. But yeah. here, if you miss the chat, uh, yeah. yeah, it's gone. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, well. Not my bad. Yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah. sure. QD Tech X1 or Q1 Pro. We're not afraid. No. Don't heat your fingers. We're not afraid. <laughs> no, we are afraid, no. We, we, we don't put knives into toasters either. No, no. As long as you don't do that, why would you put a knife in your toaster? To get the toaster. Is it not spring loaded? Well, you know, if it gets stuck. Usually it would jump out. Unless you put something way too thick in there. Oh, oh yeah, we don't have those in the Netherlands, bagels. How do you not have bagels in the Netherlands? Yeah, I know. Like, we have sometimes donuts. Scones? Do you have scones? Scones? Pastry? Uh, we do biscuits. have some pastry, do you have but. Biscuits? Yeah. Okay, good. good. I, I think we are. No, then no, we're missing out on a lot of things, but yeah, let's find something else. Oh, oh. Hey, 3D HP, Jerry, how are you doing? Finger on a hot toaster, yeah, why not doing that? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see. A lot of empty tables here. Mm -mm. Some, some Prusa printers. Of course, the Prusa XL. Five tool heads. We have here on this side, we have uh, Eson. And here also makers enabling makers. Very cool. Have you also this frame? Hey, how are you doing? Hello, my name. Hey, Zach. Is this like a, uh, you know, a display? Yeah, this is, these are all light up. Uh, oh, cool. I also, also saw a big tree tech uh, setting up something like this. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, all the cool kids have light up. Things. Very cool. Uh, we have, you have here Oli 3D. Huh? You have a YouTube channel? Yeah, Zachary 3D Prints. Oh, okay. Wait, I know. I, I know of you. Wait, yeah. Zachary, yeah. I think I talked to you. Sorry? Maria, I think I talked to you, Maria. Yeah. For my yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you made it. Yeah, yeah I'm glad I made it. <laughs> yeah. I well. can help you out. You flew huh? over from Sorry, where? Sorry, we couldn't help you. Oh, no. That's pro no you, problem. You're from the Netherlands? Yeah. Yeah. The Netherlands. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I'm the guy that uh, travels uh, all across uh, the bigger ocean to, to get somewhere. <laughs> well, I saw Stefan also, so. Yeah. Uh, there, there are a few people that have flown over. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like. Uh, so just get your own jet. Yeah. I, right, just get on the Prusa jet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that, that one is uh, flying down, down under. Oh, are they going to. Yeah, the, 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 those. Uh, oh, so they are going to. No, Prusa is here, oh. but like the, 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 the hardcore club is uh, going to the uh, Makers Fair in Australia. Ooh. Next, year, okay, next year, next year, our marketing budget. <laughs> Can we take the cheap right, angler? Yeah, we'll just give it. Yeah, we'll get another juice. Maybe a Land Rover. No, I was. A land Rover, it's the ocean. No, I was just checking out uh, people or brands that uh, could help out uh, with sponsoring. Yep. Yes, if possible. No, also fine, you know. Well, well we're glad we'll to happily, see you. We'll happily get you some filament, all right? Yeah. Uh, if you can take it back. No. If you can, oh, that's right. I don't have the space for it. Oh, I just have one backpack. I can 
make it a little bit larger. Mm -hmm. I did that uh, at Smurf, but later on, it was really a pain in the back to <laughs> get it through. It was, uh, it, it, I, I bought, I think, three spools of filament. It didn't fit right. Yeah. Well, so. luckily they make filament everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you get, if you win a printer or something like that, then you're gonna have to. Make yeah. Some if I, 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 I don't even try to contest in the, in, in the giveaway here. Yeah. Because uh, I have no idea how to get it with me. <laughs> I want some filament at Earth. And there are a lot of people that maybe don't have a 3D print and do want to have one. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's, how, that's how I always feel. But For well, me, it would be another, another uh, printer in my uh, studio. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people, you know, because we're always around and we know people that say, hey, here, try this thing. It's like, I can buy, you know, I'll buy mine. Like, what there's so many out? other people that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> Recycle PETG. I'm surprised. I got a whole. I got a whole weekend. I'm surprised that's the first time I've heard someone say that. <laughs> <laughs> so PETG. This is why we bring him. Yeah, oh, exactly. Like shipping go. back, not yeah, only the, the shipping cost, with the but also the uh, the import fees. They are massive. Uh, I, did, I mean, like for P, uh, normal filaments, that wouldn't be that, that that much of a problem. But if you are sending like a printer with electronic stuff like that. That would be a high in price. But if, you know, if Prusa says like, hey, you can take one of those printers with you, I, w I want to do that, but, you know, why not shipping it from uh, Prague, you know? So we are going to continue. It's just a few little meters. Um, we have here also some very cool printers. Just uh, check it out here. Switch it here. Here, also a tool head and some nice LED. We're here, this this yellow one. So so beautiful. <laughs> Bring me back a positron, right? I don't know how far I can stretch it. Alien 3D, make a box me. A lot of filaments there. Premium filament inside. Ooh! Oh my gosh, that looks nice. Uh, is zombie? Yeah, zombie is uh, right over over there on the back. Yeah. This engraver camera, the Beagle Cam. Check this out, the Prusa Mini Micro. I think Trex is helping Polymaker. I don't know, who's Trex? Filament colors and green gate. Octo everywhere. And here's uh check this out, how beautiful that this looks like. Only two colors. That's the one. Then we have here green gate filament. You know this color? Yeah? I used that one, yeah. Yeah. 
So we'll catch up more. Yeah. Hey, Zach, how are you good doing? To see you. Hey. Good to see you, man. Get this guy featured. Awesome. Oh yeah. No, this is uh, currently just a live stream. I'm going to make uh, videos uh, tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, live stream. No problem, man. That is a very nice color. Thank you very much. I bought one uh, spool uh, last year and I you used did. it. American Blue. That's American Blue. And this is its baby brother, Your Royal Highness. Yeah, nice. It's more royal than this is more navy. I like sparkle. I like sparkle too. Yeah, it's nice. I, well, I bought, no, I bought two uh, spools of filament. The other one, I don't know which kind of color they were. It was a great color. All right. Well, I'm glad that you bought from us before and I hope that we'll uh, see your business again this year. Yeah. Right? So light burn. Looks like the Wi-Fi. Is there a problem with the Wi-Fi? Yeah, this, uh, this is the Wi-Fi in, from inside. Yeah, nice color. All right, here we have the gloop again. So that was the uh, last part of the uh, stream is good. Nice. Who is test, by the way? <laughs> so yeah, uh, after uh, 81 minutes of live streaming, uh, I don't know. Um, do you want to see something? Something in particular? Hmm? Minecraft boat, yeah. Yeah, the, the yeah. Yeah, everybody's still setting up. Yeah, the lumbo was uh, is really looking nice. So uh, How can I... Tell Silverback wants to know if he... Oh. Oh, I, I think he was busy with doing something on his printer. Yeah. So I'm going to end this live stream right over here. Uh, I'm not planning to do a live stream tomorrow. I'm just going to uh, shoot uh, videos. You're going to sleep. I have no idea what time it is now. So I'm going to end this live stream. Yeah, you're very much welcome. For me, it's. This is the first time that I'm actually doing a live stream in public. It's weird. Oh, oh, like, oh, so basically this is a regular Friday live stream then. Thank you, Silverback. Great stream. Yeah, thank you, Steve Poole. So everybody, thank you so much for watching and uh, you know, see you in the next one. Maybe I will. I'll, maybe I will do a live stream. <laughs> okay. See you later. Hey. Thanks, and uh, till next time. Uh, like here. Okay. See you later. Bye.